This is code.org and let's see here. We're creating image filters. I'm going to go ahead and open these all up because I do want to point out something that I regularly point out is pick the one that you're most interested in. However, they're going to hit upon the same concepts, right? Zero red, set red, zero color, right? Zero blue, set blue, z blue color. So it's going to cover the same content. It's slightly different. And so make sure you choose the one that you're most interested in. And this one, maybe it's your favorite color. I'm going to stick with A and choose set red. All right. But the information provided in each of these will apply. So keep that in mind. Pick the one you like, but it will be similar to, well, this one. So regardless, write the method zero red that sets the red value for each pixel to zero. Ah, zero not red. The set red method, does this do anything? Can I test this? Oh, it oh, it's my doggo! Hi, hi. If you're not seeing a dog here, one, you picked the wrong image. Two, uh, you need to go back into the last bubble. So I picked a dog, Pada. His name's Fred. Why is it Fred? Because I said so. Dog Fred. Uh, none of my students are named Fred this year, so that helps too. All right. Set Fred method. I hope I don't use this next year and someone's named Fred. Hmm. Sounds like problems for future, Mr. Kaiser. Uh, the set red method in the pixel class has a parameter value that sets the red value to a value specified. Okay, so let's go here. Red zero, where are we? We got the pixel image. Oh, we have to create the entire thing. Okay, so let's go ahead. And if you're kind of worried about creating a function, you have a bunch of references within this. To remind you. So let's go ahead and do public um, zero. Oh, am I returning anything with this? No. So public void and then zero red. And my parameter, apparently, method in the pixel class has a parameter value that sets the red value to the value specified. So I'm going to assume that's an int value. Boom, boom, boom. And pow. All right. Now, we need to be able to, well, set the value of our pixel. So how can we do that? Does it set it? No, it sets it of all. Yes. So we need to loop through all of our pixels and go ahead and set the value. Let me just see. Oh, nope. We've done this a few times now, so I'm going to hammer out the loops. Keep in mind, it's going to be a nested loop, and an enhanced loop isn't going to work because all you're doing is counting. You're not actually looping through a specific... Uh, chunk of content, right? There's not an existing 2D array to loop through. You're just counting up through the values to access them. So let me hammer this out and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so now that I've hammered this out, I want to point something out, and I prefer to do it this way. Uh, let me first get through the top. For int, row is going to be equal to zero. Row needs to be less than the length of pixels. Mr. with x pixels. Pixels is our 2D array of pixels up here. So I need to make sure not to go past the end of it. So I'm counting through the rows, and then I add one to row each time. Now, inside of this, I loop through the columns. For int column is equal to zero, or call, call must be less. Now, it's not less than the length of the entire array. It's less than the length of a single array. Oftentimes, you'll see zero here. I would argue, and it is, it's more technically correct to have row, because the row that we are currently on is what we want the length of. Now, usually, at least in what we have seen, we haven't seen a jagged matrix, so the first row has the length of all the rows. However, I still prefer to get the length of the actual row we're on to make sure call is less than that. Then we add one to call each time. And now we need to use our documentation. You likely don't have all of this memorized. I certainly don't. And I teach it. So, code.org media image. How can we change up a pixel? How can we access it? With height get pixel right here. Look, we can set a pixel. So what do we need? Set pixel int x, int y, and color. Is color a string? And you might not be sure. It's type color. Let's see an example. I wonder, since we're going to have access to each individual pixel, rather than doing it this way, let's look at the pixel one. We have options. Get color. <gasps> Bam. We can set the... Ooh, let's use that. Okay. Set color. Okay, we're going to do it this way. Perfect. And what I'll do then is set 
color. Oh, they're defining color like this. Interesting. Did I just see though? Get color. So we could do that, but ooh, there we go. This is looking good. Set the amount of red ranging from zero to 255. Aha, that is actually what we want. Okay, so set red, and then what do we wanna set it to? Zero. Now I need to tell it what to set, right? Because this does extend image, it doesn't extend pixel. And that's why we're doing this loop to access each individual pixel. So in pixels, pixels, I need what? I need my row block and I need my call. And then that row call, I'm gonna set the red to zero. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, call zero red, okay. Okay, and so now I can do, oh, now I can do, what did I call mine? My image plus uh, zero red. And then it asks us to draw the scene. All right, draw the image in the scene. And we've done that up here already. So I'm actually gonna steal what I did up here. Copy, control V for paste or command V if you're on a Mac. Let me test this out, see what I broke. And I broke something. Zero red. Oh, I have to set the parameter. Did I ask for a parameter? Oh, okay, good. So I need to add that. Did I remember to? Yes, I defaulted it to red. Why would we have it pass a parameter? Okay, so guys, they're contradicting themselves here. Here, this would indicate that it doesn't have a parameter, but down here it does. So it's up to you. You can have this. Since they're contradicting themselves and asking for a parameter, I can get rid of this and just set it to zero. And then I would need no parameter here. Right? Boom. Or I can go back over here and follow their second ask where instead of, although it being set zero, it seems rather odd to have a number that we set it to, but I could just manually set it to zero or 10. I don't know. Boom. Either way, it works. Onward.